Hello, this is Friday's lesson this week, so this will be the last lesson um, of this week. So, in your um, kits that were sent home, go ahead and find the baggie that was dated today. Um, you should have several things in your baggie, but today what we're going to be doing is designing your very own maze. So you should have a red paper plate, okay, looks like this. You should have toothpicks. You should have gummy worms and lifesaver gummies. And you should have a paper that looks like this. That's what I want you to get out for today. Okay, so we are going to be designing a maze and testing our product. So I'm going to read just a little something I want you to think about. Think about it. Would you want to purchase a game that you could never win or a puzzle that you could never solve? If your game is too easy, is it really fun? That's why it's important for products to be just right. So, when a producer creates a product, they always have product testers. And today, we are going to do Don't Get Trapped. So this is going to actually be the very first step that you do in part of your assignment. So, um, with your pencil or a marker, whatever, I would prefer it to be in pencil. That way, if you mess up, you can erase. You're going to draw on the circle. You're going to draw out your maze, plan out your maze, your design. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can just draw little circles for the Lifesaver gummies and like a little worm shape for your gummy worms. Okay. Um, down here at the bottom, I'm not going to be worried about explaining it, but I do want you to check one of these. After you've tested your maze out, did, do you think you made it too easy, just right, or too difficult? Okay, so part of your assignment is going to be drawing out and planning out your maze and then checking one of these three boxes. You don't have to do the part that says explain. Okay, um, I do want to say, I want to warn you to be very careful when you're doing your maze. So I have poked a toothpick through my paper plate. Okay, so this is the front of it. But look what happens on the back. Okay, when you're poking through your toothpick, it's going to obviously pop out on the other side. So I do want you to be a little careful when making your mazes that you're not holding your hand where your um, toothpick is going to come out at because it's sharp, it's pointy. So if mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever would like to help you with poking the toothpicks through, that's fine. Okay. So let me just get out a lifesaver gummy here. Okay, so I'm pretending that I've already drawn my maze and now I'm um, doing the actual maze on my plate. So like I said, you would find where you want it to be on your plate where you drew it. And then you're just going to kind of hold it on while you push your toothpick through. See how I'm not putting my hand right up against where the toothpick's going to be, but yet I, I'm still holding on. So here on mine, I've started with one Lifesaver gummy, okay? Yours may look different. Yours may start with a gummy worm. Um, some of the gummy worms that I bought were a little um, long, so I do want you to kind of pull those apart when you're using them. Don't keep them long. Some of you have smaller ones and some of you have a mixture of them. Um, so the object of this is, 
in your bag, I should have mentioned this as well, you should have also had a marble. Okay, just one marble. So, I'm going to actually put another one like here. Let me get another proof book here. And of course, my marble. So I've got my one marble and another toothpick. Okay, so I'm just going to show you mine. Like I said, you don't have to start yours like exactly like how mine is, but this is just to show you an example. Okay, so I'm on mine, I started with one gummy, and I'm placing, it's kind of hard to see because it's red and the plate's red, but I'm placing another gummy beside it. So again, when I'm holding it, I want to make sure that I'm not going to push it through where my fingers are. Okay, so now I have two gummies on. So for example, our point is to be able to get your marble to roll all the way through your maze without it falling off. So I did this one on purpose, but for example, if I'm going to start here on my maze, what happens when I let my marble go? I didn't space out my Lifesaver gummies far enough. So make sure when you're planning it out, you want to have enough room for your marble to get in between your candy, okay, for the maze. Okay, so like I said, part of your assignment is planning out your maze and checking one of the three boxes. And you can just send me a picture of you holding it up like this. Okay, and then the next last part of your assignment is I would like um, a picture of you with your maze. It would be cool if your marble was actually starting to roll through your maze when you took a picture. But as long as you have your full maze done and you take a picture of you holding it. That's the second part of your assignment. Okay, so have fun, and like I said, be careful when you push your toothpicks through, okay? That's um, going to be one of the hardest parts. So, like I said, if mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever want to help you with that part, it's okay. All right, can't wait to see what you guys made up. Bye.